the Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, or as the new title is now, it's Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. We're going to talk about this movie. If we must. Uh, yeah, we must. It's a DC movie. It doesn't it's a, matter. It's a big movie. It's not. Uh, it's not a big movie at all. I guess. It made $30 million. <laughs> surprisingly low, right? I think Not surprising at all. All right, I'm going to talk about what I liked about the movie because I think it's pretty. Obvious. I have nothing positive to say about this. Really? Yeah. So be ready because I'm going to slaughter everything I mean, you say. That's fine. I'm, Just I, be I ready. Come back at everything that you. Have. I don't think you can, but let's go. So, this movie, first and foremost, it's a fun movie. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> let me. I'm going first. I had fun watching the movie. You know, this was definitely. It should have never been called Birds of Prey. <clears throat> uh, it should have just been, you know, the Harley Quinn movie. A lot of fun watching it. The action chore- choreography was phenomenal during the soul fight scenes with Harley and doing all this kind of stuff. You believed in her. You you watched her. She stole every scene that she was in. Uh, I did like what they did with uh, Canary. They brought her up well. I thought that dynamic worked fine. Uh, it was a little weak with some of the other characters, which I didn't really need. Um, Ewan McGregor acted beautifully in this movie. You know, he did. they did their own version of Black Mask. If you didn't know anything about Black Mask going into this movie, I think you're not going to have a problem. If you go into this movie knowing what you know about Black Mask, I think you might be a little disappointed. Uh, but their version and their take on Victor Zaz and Black Mask, I think, worked for this movie. Doesn't necessarily work for the greater DC mythos, if you will. Um, you know, the plot is paper thin. You know, she breaks up with Joker. You know, she blows it up just to send a message. She's mad. And then everybody wants to come and kill her. Because, you know, she doesn't have the protection of the Joker anymore. You know, I just felt like they made this plot just to service all these cool action scenes and all this cool stuff they wanted to do with Harley Quinn. Uh, and for me, for my personal enjoyment, you know, it did everything it needed to. I had fun watching it. I laughed. I thought there was a couple of cool scenes. The hyena was fun. They did a lot of callbacks. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, uh, other thoughts about the movie before you just end everything. Huntress, they... I. I didn't think they did well with her. You know, she's in there very little. Um, Black Canary finally used her power towards the end. I'm glad we got to see that. You know, I thought this movie was just a crazy fun ride. I don't. I think it did everything it needed to for me. Uh, definitely a step up in the overall Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn stuff. I think it's still a step in the right direction for DC. I, I don't think this movie was planning to be, you know, fantastic or blow everybody's waters or do anything. I thought it was supposed to be just a fun movie. Um, I thought the marketing for this movie was terrible. Uh, the fact that you had to change name after release sh- speaks volumes. I don't think this movie needed to be rated R. I think if you would have made it PG-13, you know, cut out some of the cursing, I think you would have dialed back on that. You would have had more butts in seats and have more of that box office money. Um, all right. Uh, now I'm, I think I've said my piece. I th- <laughs> Uh, and I think everything else here is going to just combat uh, what you're ripping off. But, you know, all right, go ahead. Let me hear your thoughts. Um, I didn't laugh one time in this movie. Okay. I didn't. I didn't care about any character in it. OK, I didn't. In- you're, you're including Carly in your statement. Inclu- yeah, including Harley. Interesting. I didn't give a shit about any character. Wow. There was no explanation. There was no backstory. There was no time that was developed. It was. A, this movie was a diary. It was a mind dump on page of a day in the life of Harley Quinn. Yeah, of Harley Quinn done very badly. Um, I might not like this even more than Suicide Squad. Interesting. It's that wow. bad. Why would you? Okay, because it's that bad. Um, and the what did su- you not like about it? Everything. The plot was terrible. The acting was okay. Um, Whose acting was not good? The Canary was not good. Huntress was not good. I didn't care about Renee Montoya. Um, Ewan McGregor is a phenomenal actor. But in 2020, they were too afraid to make him either gay or not or say it. Right? You had Ewan McGregor and Victor Zaz yeah. as this kind of tag team, like the the crime lords of, of this underground sector of Gotham. Okay. And... You know, we had the the little background of 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 Black Mask being obsessed with masks, and you see his house, and he's got all the masks. Fine. 
you have this awkward sexual tension yet not because he's psychotic and cutting people's faces off. Yeah. Between him and Zaz. Okay. And there were rumors in the marketing that he was a gay character. Yeah. And people were very happy about it. And obviously the other side wasn't. Um, which you're always going to get. Which right? you're always going to get. But in the movie, there was no. They were too afraid to define it. They were too afraid to say, yes, Black Mask is gay. Or no, Black Mask isn't gay. But I don't they, think they that... left it there as a, a hanging piece of fruit that they never touched. I don't think that and hurt it, it either did. characters. It did 100 percent because they didn't do enough character development in the beginning anyway. This this plot, this movie, you're saying it's fun and that's fine if you want to say it's fun. This is a movie for people who don't use their brains. This is a movie for people who don't think this is a movie mm. for people who go in and say, here's my ten dollars. Take me away from my shitty life for two hours. I mean, that's every movie, right? No. It's not the, all, all the point of movies and entertainment is, you know, escapism. That's that's a basic view of, of movie going. That's a very basic juvenile way of, of movie. Going. I mean, that's that's what they are to the core. Not but to the core. You could say that about anything, though. Right. Like like if you're going to a movie for th- this particular movie to go and when, watch and have fun to go watch and have fun. Yeah. And, and what? Not like the plot and not like the characterization you're saying. You're saying in your own defense of this. That you didn't like the way it was marketed. They sh- they they had to change the title. They yeah, made no money. You didn't like half the characters. That is already stating how terrible this movie is. And I'm not saying it to be a hater. I'm not saying it to add fuel to an already dumpster fire that this movie has gone through. Mm. I am saying this based on me paying my ticket and going to see and basic. I'm basing this on what I saw. I'm basing this on the two hours of my wasted time that I saw. The ending was awful with Harley in the car. I didn't care about the kid at all. The kid's storyline was just there. It was just there. And yeah. and, and I, I just didn't care. I didn't care about the sandwich. I didn't think. Oh, how did you not care about the sandwich? It wasn't funny. Okay. It, it wasn't funny. It, it didn't have any traction. Um, I think, again, Margot Robbie, phenomenal actress, award winning actress. I'm not saying she's bad as Harley. I'm just saying it, it to me, it was. To me, it was a movie that they said Harley is so big. Harley is such a big comic character. She's such a big character in the mainstream. We're selling Harley products left and right. T-shirts, jackets, props, statues, everything. We have to get something out there. What I think. uh, And they were calling this movie also like this, you know, this great female team up movie. The team up wasn't really every woman I've talked to has hated it. Every woman I've, I've asked about this movie has been like, this is absolute trash. Hmm. Like, in the form of like, you know, at least Captain Marvel did this. At least Wonder Woman did this. This movie didn't do anything. Um, I thought you had glimpses of things that could have been fleshed out. Where Such you, as? you had Huntress's mother backstory. Yeah, they and dropped the, the ball connection to Ray Montoya. Yeah. Um, the connection. No, sorry. The connection between Black Canary and... And Renee Montoya with her mother. What I think this movie did Dropped wrong. It. They, Everything. They tried to. Because the in beginning before this. Before let's, let's just pull back to productions. Right. Originally they had a Birds of Prey movie. They had a Joker Harley movie. And a Harley movie they wanted to do. Right. Yeah. It kind of feels like they try to do all three in one. I don't even know. Because the plot. Like you said. The plot was paper thin. It, it was, was just so simplistically stupid. Mm-hmm. That. You couldn't even tell what direction it was going in. Not even like as bad as, you know, as rough as Rise of Skywalker was, you knew where it was going to. It was easy to tell. It was you could see where the line was. You could see the linear trajectory. You could see everything kind of going where it was going to go, even though we weren't happy about it. This I was like, all right, you're making turns here and here that I don't know why we're doing this. I don't know why we're wasting our time on this. Um the going into stuff and then doing the the flashback could have went without that didn't care okay um again i think they really missed the mark on black mask if they were going to make him gay just make him gay i i think just have him be gay i don't think it's a big deal 
it's 2020. Why are we? Why are we like half hiding it? I don't think. I don't. I didn't. I didn't feel the half hiding it at all. I didn't think that they at all. What they were doing? How could you not? Because they were. They 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 just do anything. They stated it without stating it. Like I. They're like, all right. He's obviously attracted to Victor's ass. To me, that's. What what did you want him to say? Uh, You wanted to see a kiss, or you wanted to say, yeah, I'm gay. No, you don't, I, you don't I, see you don't see Batman say no. Yeah, I'm straight. You don't see all these things being overly thrown in your it face. It wasn't natural. It wasn't natural. See, for me, it, it wasn't organic. Natural. It was very, it was very awkward to me. It was very like, okay, one scene he's with like a thousand chicks, and yeah. Victor Zaz comes over and he's like really awkwardly like offended. It, it it wasn't clear what the characterization was. Victor Zaz didn't have a lot of lines, which is fine, mm-hmm. but like there wasn't a lot of like definition of okay, is Victor just an insane? killer person or is he emotionally tied to this person or is it because he wants to be him or he wants to be with him like there were so many questions that none of them got answered that you're kind of just sitting there like okay where is this going Mm -hmm. and the same thing was for all the characters right like you had black canary who's singing at the club and which was fine i I thought that was good i think she had the better the best flushed out aside from hardy quinn and aside from ewan mcgregor's black mask I thought she was the next in line that actually like felt like she had a full story. Didn't matter. Um, I, I don't think it does anything, and it didn't add or, or subtract. Um, I thought the only the only interesting part was actually seeing the the Helena Bertinelli backstory as a kid, where her family gets killed. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't flesh that out at it all. Felt rushed. Uh, they well, yeah, they had to throw her in for the last fight, right? So I don't know. I, I just I'm sorry. This was terrible. Um, this was a huge step back for DC in that character. I disagree one hundred percent. Well, yeah. sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> this uh, is what it is. I think I think uh, you, you know stats say otherwise. No, it, it yeah, no they don't. It made thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars. That's terrible for a movie that probably spent two hundred million. That they're not gonna make the money back that it costs to make the movie. That's automatic failure. I understand for that and changing the title on top of that. If we look I mean I I mean maybe I shouldn't even look at this aspect, but if we look at critically for DC as a whole, this movie was a success. No. Yes, it was. How? How? At every other site, it's above seven. It's above eight. It's On a doing site? well. You have Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb. Who, other you're other you're basing on Rotten Tomatoes. You might I'm, as well be basing on naming, Wikipedia. I'm naming multiple sites. It doesn't matter. That, that critics overall matter. say this is, it's not a loss. I don't think this is a loss for DC. I think it is 100% because you're basically doing the Wikipedia version of an essay. You're, you're looking at the websites and critics, what they're saying. That doesn't matter because that doesn't translate to dollars. That doesn't translate the, to, to money that. made. That doesn't translate to butts and seats. I think the, the the issue with the money, aside from being, you know, whatever you want to say the movie is, like I said before, the marketing for this movie, I think the marketing from DC failed this movie more than this movie failed DC. No, I don't at all. I don't at all. Because but did you, you before this movie, did you have any idea what the plot was? Even, yes, the plot was paper thin. We both agree. No, but like... You had no idea what this movie was no, about. No, but most, most movies are like that now like marvel movies do that all the time with trailers and and star wars movies do that all the time and you know anything that isn't like you know an academy award-winning drama kind of does yeah, that but now you still go in, in and you have an idea of like what's going to happen next yes but at the same time movies don't just count on marketing they count on word of mouth they count on people going in and saying that's great go see this you know or hey, i think this movie has did it, you see this you should go see it I think we'd have a, a complete different uh, discussion on this movie money wise if this movie was made to PG thirteen and they did a good job marketing. But that's not reality, Rob. I okay. Reality is this is the movie we got, just like with Star Wars, right? Like you we tell each other all the time. We have to deal with what we have. Yeah. We can always right. make it better. With Star Wars, Star Wars, that movie failed the uh to the, end to end it correct. Failed no uh, not even that. That movie failed the I don't want to say not franchise, it failed the the studio. Yeah, I think this movie, the studio failed the movie. I I don't. I think the movie was bad overall. I think the directing okay, was bad. Okay, and that's fine that you have that opinion. I, I think everyone does because of the amount of money it made and, and the title change and the problems Again, going into yeah. it. I agree. I'm not saying I disagree with okay. there were a lot of problems going in. I don't disagree with we had, yes, there was all these movies planned, then none of them got done. They, they all tried to they all shove tried, into one movie. Probably. Yeah. But at the end of the day... It's still a bad, bad movie. Like, it's terrible. Um, and, like, you look at, like, you know, movies like, you know, that DC's also done compared to compared to any other DC movie. Even Suicide Squad had some better 
things going on with like it. Like what? What did Suicide Squad do better than this movie? Suicide Squad at least had a linear story that you knew plot points had to get to. This was all over the place. This is also told by respective an uh, narrator you can't trust. An un untr- uh, what is it? What's the term? Untrusted narrator. What do you mean? Like this is all told from the story of perspective of Harley Quinn. Yeah. So that's part of it. Yes. Suicide I know. Squad wasn't. So I know. You saying, saying that doesn't necessarily. No, I'm saying Suicide Squad had the the overall plot of Suicide Squad as much as that was a mess as well made sense. Like they had something to do. Everyone had to get this done. Boom. Bomb in your head. You all work for me. Like you knew it was going to hit those points. This was yes. Part of it was you don't know if Harley's correct or not because she's insane Mm -hmm. you know there was the scene where like she's in the back of the police precinct and they're shooting at her and the cocaine's like falling in her face (laughs) and then she has this thing where she's like talking to a dead ferret or something in her house uh Um, beaver yeah whatever don't care so like that aspect she names the hyena bruce yada yada Mm -hmm. but like besides like that is you can kind of see that again not fleshed out but it, it was just such a mess as far as you know, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. Now we're going to introduce this character and you're never going to see him again. Like the guy at the, the Chinese store, um, you know. Yeah, we saw him for a little bit. Characters. It, it was just, well, it him, was a mess. Him, I it don't think, I, well, talk about that guy specifically. I don't, which, uh, we, we don't need We to. don't need him. <laughs> I thought they, I didn't need more of him. I thought he was fine. No, I agree. I, okay. I didn't need him at all, okay. but. I, I just I, want to see your opinion. No, I'm even just saying, so like, it, it doesn't, it didn't navigate anything forward besides her being like, oh, I guess I can't trust anyone. No one cares about mm-hmm. me. But I just it was a mess. It, it was a disappointing mess. And mm-hmm. and I went with a woman and she was even more upset than I was at the movie. Um, and I've talked to a lot of women who have seen it and they're like, yeah, this is shit. <laughs> like, this is terrible. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of done with this. This series. I'm done with. Let me ask you a question anything they have to do. With- I mean, the only thing that's, uh, you know, hopefully James Gunn fixes it with Suicide Squad. But that's really all I got. My question with this movie with. Some people I've talked to and, you know, obviously online and critics have said, like, the woman empowerment, some people argue that it's been forced down their throats. Other people said yeah. it was fine. I'm in the camp with this movie. I thought it was fine. I didn't think – because of the premise, right? Like, you like you go with the plot. You go with the movie. Just broke up with a boyfriend. This is a breakup story. It's a superhero breakup story. That's essentially what this was. Everybody wants to kill her because she's now she's single, right? Did I you feel- also, I didn't think you need to mention Joker in this movie. I thought it was useless to even mention him. Well, I mean, you have to, right? If that, like, but like, like you said, like this is the stu- I feel personally, like this is a studio trying to do three things at once. No, I felt, I felt like it was. We don't know a story to do because we don't actually know Harley Quinn the character, and the only thing we know about her is that she was with the Joker and then broke up with him. So this is what we're gonna do. So that's what everybody does. Follow up on that. That's what everybody does. Okay. Uh, with the going back to my main question with the female empowerment. Yeah. Do you feel in this movie it was forced down your throat? Do you feel like it wasn't done well? Or you feel like it was just fine? I, I can't, I'm curious to see what you I think. I can't say it's forced down my throat because okay. I don't think they did it well. I, I don't think it was done well enough to be forced down my throat, right? It wasn't like all the female Avengers in Endgame landing to fight Thanos. Okay. And that was clearly like over Spoon the Spoon feeding. Yeah, that was pandering. The pandering to the max. Which is not, never, not necessarily bad. No, I Pandering. think the scene was bad, but that's yeah. I, I think they did it badly because it was forced. Um, I don't think this could technically be forced because I don't think they did any of it well. I think, okay, I think the idea was fine. I think the i the initial idea on paper mm-hmm. is fine. Harley's got to figure out a way to sustain herself. Black Canary has to get out of her own head and away from the shadow of death of her mother and decide if she wants to be a good person or Renee not. Renee Montoya has to overcome this uh, man who yeah. stole the job from her. Exactly. Bla- uh, Twice. H- Huntress. And the credit. Yep. And Huntress has to overcome these men who killed her family and, yeah, and kill them back. And the revenge thing. The idea initially on paper is fine. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with the execution. I don't think it was done well enough to to state that it was over the top the way that, like I said, Endgame is clearly over the top in that scene. Um, yeah, but also, OK, not with that scene. No, sorry. With that ahead, scene. But like, I, I think like the theme was there, but it just wasn't well. Executed. It wasn't executed so it doesn't feel at like- all. So it didn't feel like anything. It, it felt like a nothing. OK, all right. Um, I, I, can, I can see we were. It, it you wasn't on that. enough of the plot for me to have to analyze it, mm-hmm. but it also wasn't 
you know, thought out well enough to actually be executed. So I don't think it was overdone if that's the question. I just don't yeah. think it was done. So, all right. Now, before we wrap up, yeah. um, somebody asked you to give a a sentence to two about what this movie is. Okay. Or like, I'm, I'm going to go first so you kind of get the ideal. Thing. ideal all right. So I'm going to say like, this movie's a fun ride, but uh, it felt like they were trying to do too many things uh, that hurt the movie. So like a quick two minute, two second thing about like your like your statement about this movie to people. Um, this movie was a failed attempt at a Harley Quinn movie. There we go. That didn't hit any marks. Now you want to do ratings? If you want to. Yeah, I want to see what your rating is. Go for it. Wait, can I guess your rating? Yeah. You have it in your head? Um, have it in your head before I guess your rating. Sure. Three. Two. Ah. Two. Unfortunate. And again, I'm not like this isn't I, I don't get, want this. I, you know right. what I mean? Like I don't want to not like something. What about the I'm action not one scenes? of the, I'm not one of the You didn't people. like that? I enjoyed the action scenes. I, I thought that was That isn't one of three? No. Because hmm. action scenes aren't it doesn't They were done well. But it was like it was done well and better than in anything Suicide Squad. Yeah. Be- better than yeah. better than a lot of fight scenes we've seen in other DC universe where hand to hand. I don't know. Um, I mean, in this one, I'm not talking about. I Bam. thought I thought they did a little too much slow mo in this one. Um, for Harley, I thought it would have been cooler okay. to see her go at full speed and see how actual, like, really good she is instead of doing the slow mo like every fight scene. There was mm. slow mo, slow mo. I'm like, oh my god, it's dragging on. Um, the bat stuff was great. Um, the oh, when she threw it on the, the floor, bang, the, the up almost and she it. That the was cool. stuff that like, but that's. That's again, like I, I don't judge everything on fight scenes. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just asking. It's, it's flashy. It's to make you not focus on everything else. Um, the fight scenes were fun, but again, I could have went without a lot of slow mo. Um, again, and I'm not someone who wants to dislike things. I don't go into movies going, I'm gonna freaking hate this. I go into movies going, I really hope this is good mm-hmm. because one, I'm spending my own money. True. You know, and two, I'm spending my own time. Mm-hmm. So I don't go into this stuff saying man, I hope this is terrible, or man, this is going to suck. This one, I was like, I will be really surprised if this is good. And unfortunately, I, you know, it was it was not a surprise, but I, you know, I would have to give it a two. That's all I could give it. For me, my initial reaction, and then after everything, I still... Don't even say the initial reaction. All right. Just go with the number. <laughs> Just go seven. with the real I want to say seven. That's ridiculous. Maybe maybe six and a half if I want to be very negative, but I want to say seven. I don't know. I think, it was so, I think it was too fun of a movie. I don't know how you could be in this industry in some form and like this movie. I Everybody has don't. different opinions. It's not about different opinions. It's about your opinion. My opinion. I enjoyed on, the movie. I don't know how. I thought Hardy Quinn was fantastic in this. I thought the action scenes were fine. I thought the how plot was, she was fantastic? enough to move it. How was she you, fantastic? Every scene she was in, I I loved the, her dialogue. I loved the way she talked. You to liked people. her dialogue. I loved the way she talked with people. I liked okay. the way she acted. This role, she was this character. If you say so, yeah. It was. It was. I don't. I don't know how you could. I don't. I have no idea how you could like read comics and and like this or watch movies and like this. I, I don't get it. But that's all right. I digress. I'm done talking about this horrible movie. All right, guys. So let us know down in the comments below what you thought of this movie. Are you on Chris's side? Do you think this movie was a hot piece of garbage? Are you on my side? Did you think the movie was fun? Let us know down in the comments below what you rate this movie. We're definitely very excited and curious, I think is a better uh, response, to see what you all think of this movie. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> you, don't think, you, don't, you don't want to see more people hated in the movie or not? No, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I don't care about people's hatred or, or dislike or like. I just, again, I go with what I say. Okay. That's all. All right, as all, and they, that guys wraps up this episode of the Jersey Comic Crew podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and staying through all this episode. Uh, as always, I am Rob Moran, Chris Heller, and make sure you keep the conversation going on all of our social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll see you next time. Jersey Comic Crew. <laughs>